In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Servo Controller to control two continuous rotation servos with a distance sensor. It'll implement a PID controller to keep a fixed distance uh, between itself and an object in front of it. You can see as I move my hand around, the robot tries to keep its distance by using the PID controller. To set it up, I set an analog input for my distance sensor, then two servo outputs. I set the zero point and the default value together with the value picker tool, and I set them so that the servos don't move. Next, I create a PID controller for the right wheel. I set so that its feedback channel is on channel 1. Its set point will be controlled internally, and I set that to an arbitrary value, 1.3 volts. The output will go to channel 1, which is my right wheel, and I'll set it to have a gain of negative 1. Usually you use gains of positive values, but because this servo is flipped upside down, it needs to run backwards, so I set a gain of negative 1. Now I create a rule for my left wheel. I use the same parameters, same feedback channel, same set point, but now I'll have it go to output 2. I'll use a positive 1 for the gain. You can see the robot tries to keep its distance quite well as I move my hand in front of its sensor. By changing the gain in the control loop, you can create faster response but you also run the risk of creating oscillations or never getting there. To show this, I'll set the gain to a value of 10. You can see it's slightly unstable and it really moves quick but it sometimes overshoots or undershoots as I move my hand around. You can see the oscillations there. And conversely, if I set the gain to low, so I'll set it to 0.1, you can see that it has a very slow response. So I'll take a bit of playing around to figure out what gain you want to set. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration, and see you next time.